Namaste everyone. We are at the beginning of an amazing, amazing journey. A journey to understand the excellences or qualities of a Swami or a righteous leader. Last week, we had learned that Acharya Chanakya has given to us a set of 51 qualities required to become a true leader. 51 qualities, huh? Isn't that a huge set? How do we go about it? With so much information to learn, will I be able to follow and remember all? I mean, above all, how do I absorb so much wisdom from the Purvacharyas with maximum efficiency? We have a solution to all such questions in the form of an approach which has been devised to maximize your absorption. And it has been so relevantly named after the part of the world where this wisdom has emerged from. EAST E A S T E stands for energy A is attitude S means skills and T is traits or inherent traits. To start with energy but it, there's more to what just the name suggests. It's not just about having, an in, having energy and enthusiasm in an individual, but also his or her capability to transfer it to the organization. Last week, I hope you remember, we discussed that a true Swami is one who leads from the front. Well, it can't get any more in sync than this. When we talk about attitude, it's the learning attitude. And you want to establish this fact with you now that Swami is an ever evolving and continuously enhancing mindset. And it can't be seen in the operations or management if there's no backup of sufficient learning on a continuous basis. Moving to skills, all that is trainable, say communication, should have, should not have, or various kind of capability building we cover under the skills category. And this is the category which has the maximum bunch of uh, qualities in the set of uh, 51. Lastly, we talk about traits. All that comes from the background of a person, the culture that impacts his or her nature or builds his or her nature is what comes under the traits. With this, we understand the set of qualities which come as a part of package from a Swami. And with this, we also understand that not all the qualities can be nurtured. Some also come as a natural set. So energy, attitude and skills can be nurtured, whereas inherent traits are a natural set of qualities. And hence, we arrive at the answer of a very popular question. Is a leader born or made? And the answer is both. How? Let's explore. Let's explore from the category of inherent traits only to start with, but not this week. This week, I leave you with this information of the segregation and I'm sure a lot of curiosity to start your new year with. I have a few questions also though. As an individual, do I transfer my energy and enthusiasm to others or do I depend on others for me to extract from? After my education, has my learning come to an end or am I still learning something? What additional skills should I attain in order to give maximum benefit to my ecosystem or my organization? Lastly, from my background and my culture, what value do I bring to my ecosystem or an organization? With these set of questions, I request you to introspect and we meet again the next week as we start on our journey with the excellences. Stay tuned. Namaste.